things that let us beat Rex. The first time is I spent about two weeks scouting and trying to build a draft. And I just knew exactly what it is that we needed to do and what we needed to ban out and what we needed to pick. Literally, we draft gapped ourselves. They they play pretty well. With our draft prep, we tend to have a general idea. We run through a lot of permutations of what other teams are going to be playing with. Realistically, that game is just a draft gap. Like we go R2, Zoe, R3, Varus, and they just pick Leona and Volibear. And from there, the game is just really unwinnable. As the game went further on, they kind of just scaled and beat us. So it was it was a massive draft gap. We, we flame all four of our coaches for that one. Zinjo jumping onto the Drake, trying to secure it, doesn't manage and to time. do it. No smite was available for that. And he gets taken down as a double kill goes over to Anti. A demon girl just sitting out here with very little health, so much CC. It's very clear just from their track record and how they play that Anti is a, a pretty pivotal member in their team. And even just from, you know, the videos we get to see are anti uh, interacting with the rest of the, the community. I think anti as a person is really awesome and definitely I think contributes a lot to some of the culture that RLS has and what you see in FOF today. As far as top lane goes in this league, I think that most of the top laners have a lot to work on in terms of fundamentals. I think that Joshi and Broccoli are the top laners that I respect the most. I think that Joshi is an incredibly strong laner and we're both our primary shot callers for our team. So I'm really excited to see how things go. And honestly, I don't know if it's going to go my way or his way. Hopefully my way. I have zero worries about this bot lane. Escape and, and Demon Girl, they look good um, for some of the other teams, but against our bot lane and with the draft that they were given, they're basically given that entire lane on a silver platter and did almost nothing with it. So. Uh, looking for other members on the team to really step up other than their bot lane. Honestly, my overall expectations for the match, I don't know what to expect. I think that if War Leader can do what they want to do, we're going to be just fine and we should be just scaling up and doing what we want to do. But I don't know. Both teams have changed a lot over the season. Rex has been looking only stronger and I'm excited to see how things go. We have already shown that where you can outclass these players in lane and out of lane. So I think some of the copium needs to stop. We are by and far the best team in the league and our less are going to feel it. If I'm going to be completely honest, I haven't really been looking at Rex the last few weeks because we already got that win. I'm trying to get all my gym badges on every team and Rex was gem number one. Hello, folks, and welcome back. I am your shoutcaster for this evening, Sharogan, and on the color side of the desk, I have joining me, Beanjar, who I have not Hello. seen in a heck of a long time. How you doing, Beanjar? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing pretty darn good, and I am really excited here. We have got the Royals come to put down the Serfs RLS. Uh, I believe so that's in good. them. I believe be in them. You believe in the, the, the Kings? Rex uh, Regalis? No, I believe in Re Restless Legs. I actually you believe had that for a good time, so I suggested it. And then they were like, oh, okay. And then they made it. Yeah, and so it you're you're the reason we no longer have uh, Ruby's light up sketches, but instead have Restless Legs Syndrome. Good I to love know. It. Good. I love it. <laughs> I'd do well, it again. So uh, I don't know how much you've had a chance to watch uh, the previous series, but as you can see, those first two bands on both sides are targeted at the top lane. You're getting rid of Anti's Irelia and his set, and then you've got Nar and Orn being taken away from Joshi, and then immediately you have the Voli Bear pickup, which to me says they're like, hey, Anti, we've seen what champs you like to play. We're not letting you get any of them, and we're going to take away your secondary comfort pick. Yeah, they do see Anti as a big keystone in the game. And of course, they're going to play around it. I say, I'm going to assume that they are, that, okay, because the red side, they're going to go for picking Anti closer to last, even though they could pick it anytime in between because they already see the whole Yeah, exactly. They might be looking for a uh, a late game counter pick, just kind of try to decide what they're going to bring, bring it out. We do okay. see that why, you know, Doctor's Thresh has been stolen away <laughs> and getting that, paired up name. with Senna. Yeah, it's it's pretty like that's just an interesting combination in general because you have the jailer with his uh pris former prisoner right there just right off the bat, and then you're mm -hmm. just taking away 
uh, why you know doctors like one of the champions we've seen him do absolutely fantastic on. Uh, but in addition, he's already got the Nautilus available, so he's just going to go ahead and pick that up. Really good with those hook champs. I'm really excited to see how Demon Girl stacks up to him. Yeah, Demon Girl, by the way, it's a cool name. I just got to mm -hmm. say that. It's a cool name. Yeah. Oh, they... it's Ion, though. This is yeah. tanky. Mm -hmm. That is a very tanky top lane. So I'm I'm kind of curious now. I'm not entirely we sure exactly what's going on. We, we have do... great range. We have good utility. We need shred damage. I don't know how they're going to do it, but they need it. Who, who like, RLS needs to get, get themselves yeah, some shred? Percent HP damage. Okay, that's not so bad. You have sustain and damage from mm -hmm. the I got a bit of true damage here. You know? Plus an easily targeted stun, just because uh, all of the stun, all the uh, hard oh, CC out of Rex Regalis is, like, easily telegraphed. You've got the charge from the Volley Bears he's coming in. The hook <laughs> is pretty <laughs> obvious to see. Just attacking. Exactly. Well, they're, they're, that's what I mean. But you repost it in order uh, to get the stun off. You see what I'm saying? So you block the damage, yeah. and you get the stun, and you get free double autos. Okay, so that was actually pretty smart. I don't know how well Anti could play the Fiora, but I assume if he already has champions like Aurelia and like Set, and, like, he mm -hmm. might have a good. One. He likes his uh, hard engaged top laners, which I think is going to be really uh, beneficial for him as this most game progresses. Top laners just do that. Yeah, Mo lots of top laners it's like to do that. Kind of team. Yep, yep, just kind of like that. A box box <laughs> kind of team. Now I do like this Varus ban uh, taking away all of batters. Varus is a very good idea. Uh, you're just gonna have. I'm kind of curious as to what exactly the ADC is. We're gonna be see picked up on uh, Rex Regalis. You've already got a large front line, so I would like to see something that could attack from a little bit of a distance, just to like kind of distance yourself from that front line. Like either uh, a Jinx or a Caitlyn, maybe just kind of so you can pepper throughout the fight. Because as they're trying to work their way through, you're just kind of boink, 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 boink. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of poke here and there. Mm -hmm. I mean, overall, it's gonna be. I, I guess they have each of their own different strategy. It seems like Rex has switched up. They're like really hard and you have three things. Cyan, of course, just barreling through. So being able to either match that up um, or just use it against themselves would be really nice. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Something that plays and holds its ground. I would honestly say the first thing that comes to mind, oh, it wasn't Zach, but I'm liking Zach. is great with percent HP damage as well as just good numbers and mm -hmm. yeah plus you've got a nice bit of sustain with those uh blobs just dropping all over the place so it's gonna allow you to like extend these team fights and to stay alive which if you're up against a volley bear scion nautilus front line you've kind of got to be able to sustain that yeah i'm expecting a lot of just hard carries in general maybe even a day it's actually so mad at this point you do have the tanks to go for it yeah. along with um i have you know no okay Ooh, okay so we've in got the Seraphine getting picked up, most likely going into the mid lane. Yeah, because uh, we'll probably most likely see them there. Uh, I would be kind of curious. Is, again, I'm still trying to figure out who this ADC is going to be. Uh, it's going to be really kind of interesting because you do want someone who's able to like, continue the fights. Uh, you're going to want some mobilities, just some all around kind of moving around the map sort of a situation. And I think something that could roam really well with Nautilus would be a great idea. Uh, just so that you can continue those rooms because so far against a Senna and a Thresh, Ooh. You could theoretically, okay, an Akshan. Akshan. Hmm. I keep on calling him Akshan. I don't know why. Just think it's, uh, uh, feel the rhythm, feel the ride. Come on, everybody. It's Akshan time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, Malzahar. There, that's what I was thinking. Spreading damage. Malzahar mm. fits, fits perfectly. Although the range might not be amazing for going to Seraphine or just the full champion like Nautilus mm -hmm. or the engagers overall. It does have the damage, so if you utilize Thresh, that will be fine. Exactly, you throw a Leandries on there, and that uh, yeah. burn is just going to be so nasty on top of the uh, Malzahar Blight. It's just, it, oh. it'll be really, really awesome. Like, those Malefic Visions will just eventually get to that point where they're just burning you for, like, half your HP off just one proc. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, based on these two team comps, I really, I like what Rex has drafted. They have a very clear engage front line and then they've got a lot of peel on seraphine plus a lot of shielding and healing that's going to keep their uh Akshan alive and Akshan's basically going to be able to like if they can keep that front line far enough away from him when the front line goes down if he manages to get the right pick the front line's just going to come right back okay yeah so you're for rex i am totally on the side of rex with this with this team comp i feel like they have got a really nasty 
uh, kind of team fighty, like a sustained team fight okay. skirm, like brawl. Like this is just going to be an all out brawl. Uh, with RLS, I feel like they've got some split pushing advantage with Fiora, uh, but they are going to need that duelist to be joining into these team fights. And it, depending on how that goes, it's going to be what's really interesting. I am um, RLS every single time. Put so, all of my looking at how this has been placed out, we see that the Akshan has in fact gone into the mid lane and we have Alk Battery going into the bot lane on the Seraphine. So we're going to be seeing an APC oh, Seraphine APC. coming out. I called and it. I called it. You, you did call it. You did call it. You had that one right. And so I think that that was, uh, <laughs> that's going to be really interesting. And you know, uh, are you ready for the, the, the dragon predictions? Oh, okay. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So we're starting with a mountain Drake, and just not looking at these two mountain, mobs. surprising. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm. I'm honestly kind of leaning in the direction of a ocean Drake this game. I'm. That would make sense if it weren't gonna be a. If it that would make sense if it wasn't going to be a cloud Drake, which it will be. Okay, so we've got an ocean and a cloud. We will have to see how this ends up going. So far, <laughs> just uh, I I think it's really interesting the way this uh, fan has started. Whereas so you've got uh, all the members of our uh, Rex just kind of sitting off to the side, uh, doing their five-man fan. Yeah, really good vision, able to get that ward dropped onto the red bus. We'll know exactly when War Leader has finally gotten himself over there. Um, so that's going to be really important. Depending on the path he takes, but I assume if he's going early as Zach might tend to do they're gonna be able to see him starting the room and just like time it. so either volleybear could go for three camps go time or he could just clear down all the way either going for three camps or the full clear which is a possibility with our heavy mm -hmm. well it looks like he's going right for that three camp here uh <laughs> three camp clear like you mentioned getting the hey. uh the, the gromp and the wolves in addition to the blue buff first might be looking well, for he that gets wolves and it's full camp yeah, it, yeah, the yeah, Gromp and Wolves. He got both. Yeah. Uh, and then it's gonna be moving over, possibly. Now he's gonna no, go so ahead and move himself. No reason to go to Raptors. Either. Yeah, going down to Raptors. Didn't see him go buff. Uh, didn't see Zach go buff buff. So. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh yeah. No. The, see the pings right there. The question mark ping on the mini map. They know exactly mm -hmm. where he is. That's just good game. And Rex is doing has nice. Been amazing game sense and yeah anti is doing really really well the thing with joshi is what he mentioned uh earlier on the lounge was the fact that he actually feels like he he's really he may not be the best laner but he's really good at maintaining uh his presence in lane and making sure that he doesn't lose it hard which is really important and especially against a fiora because as we can see anti's taken advantage now gotten a really deep ward over by blue buff and can clearly see that those camps have been taken out so they don't know for certain where he is. We haven't seen any pings on the map to indicate that for the Volley Bear, but he's already started that bot side Scuttle Crab. So they're going to go ahead and get that because they've got the priority down there, which is going to mean that they'll have nice vision set up by the time this Drake gets ready to spawn. Yeah, they have good vision so far. That's just, that's that's been established. I'm hoping to see some like skirmishes here and there, mainly mm. for the Volley Bear. He doesn't have much opening to the closet. So he does it right now. Zach if we look be... at this, Zach is going to be backing Zach in is... the mid river. He's going to see Akshan as he's walking uh, around, so they're probably not going to be able to stop him. He's going to back at just the last second uh, in order to get away. In the meantime, in the bot lane, we have some nice bit of poke coming out from the Senna, hitting in those uh, Q shots, getting that that light charge, um, and stealing those souls from Seraphine. Look at that! I just I love the fact that Akshan's boomerang will just <laughs> go all the way down the map in theory if there's minions for him. It's just Gnar, but better, you know? Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm kind of surprised we didn't see Joshi pick him up. I am somewhat surprised, but I feel like because he wants to maintain just a stable presence, Scion does make sense. Like, it, it does allude to it. That it does not. Oh, pardon me. Um, what? with the it's way this game, yeah, like I feel like this is going to be a fairly slow opening. Like we're going to have a little bit of a pool fight, uh, pool yeah, noodle fight up here. Fight. Although we do look like we're oh. having a nice engage as War Leader comes in, missing the bounce, but he does manage to get the knock together, and that is going to be bot lane getting caught really far out. Alt battery is going to go down as first blood goes over to RLS's escape. Yeah, I believe in RLS. You can do it. 
So oh. it, with this is one of the disadvantages of playing a traditional mid laner in the bot lane early on is you're <laughs> you're going to be very susceptible to ganks. Um, and you're going to have to worry about that. I do like this back right here out of Joshi. He's able to get a nice wave right there that's just absolutely massive. He backs, he gets the heal advantage, he drops the Q, misses it just a little bit, but he's going to get the damage off of the uh, the the furnace yeah. as it explodes. Oh, um, at the same time, he is going to get ganked by Pangu Soul. What? Pangu is going to throw out the silence, so he's, he's not quite able to do that. Uh, I'm we surprised do... Anti doesn't follow up, but it's, I say that's mainly just to save the lane state because if Joshi were able to... Uh, okay, you can't stop him back if that's... No, nah, unfortunately, he can't. Too far away, and it's a situation where, uh, unfortunately, he just did not have the ability to break through the spell shield and CC him at the same time. Wasn't quite level 6. Maybe EQ, maybe. Just E for the spell shield. You'd have to but flash it, but... Exactly, you'd oh. have to flash E in order to get the spell shield down and hope your ch car charged Q would be able to hit. Not quite in time. I do like this response, though. Rafa taking advantage of the fact that they were in the top lane and just going ahead being like, you know what, fine, gank my top laner. I don't care. I'm getting Ocean Drake. <laughs> yeah, or Mountain Drake. Now it's Mountain Infernal. Drake. Yep, so it so is Infernal. still between Ocean and Cloud. We st it, I still have a chance. You still have a chance. Yes, we each still have a chance. We are both I'm on I'm not right. wrong yet. You're not wrong yet. You're not wrong yet. Joshi I'm pretty sure I said Ocean there, Drake, if I remember correctly, right? Yeah, you said Ocean Drake. Okay, okay. Just making sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. War Leader trying to get a nice bounce. Not quite able to do it. And then we just yeah. have Alk Batter getting those high notes, double hitting, doing a decent amount of damage in the bot lane. I feel like because Anti is such a strong presence in like the average game for RLS, Ooh, it's, that's it's a slight a... problem. Mm -hmm. Oh what? It, it's a, okay. it's a slight problem mainly just for the fact that they're putting a lot of resources that, into that, and every time they're doing it, they're just moving somewhere else around the map, taking blue buff, taking a drink. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's usually what the issue is. Ooh, why you know Dr. Hit missing that hook? Because unfortunately, uh, we had Demon Girl get stunned, so they weren't able to escape, but it didn't matter as Rafa was already there to pick up the kill. Yeah, that is just an example of how over, over pushing for top lane just kind of doesn't... It's not always the best opportunity. You might want to go mid lane because you have Malzahn. You might want to go somewhere else where you can easily get a kill, not just gank anti before for anti, mm -hmm. even though he is a good player. And ooh, nice root coming out, coming out with a double stun and a charm. RLS Escape is trying to flash out, trying to get away. Not going to be able to as Alt Battery hits him with that high note. The high note. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hmm. It's, it's hard to find words for this, but it's a slow battle. And even then, it's starting to like pass towards up in favor of Rex mm -hmm. so far. It is going in the favor of Rex. And here's something I think is actually really interesting. So Malzahar's minions are going to go down fairly quickly to Akshan's auto attacks uh, yeah. once he starts getting uh, a little bit more damage. And because he does the double auto if he stands still, he's automatically going to target another uh, minion once that first one goes down. So theoretically, those three... Uh, uh, those three little uh, voidlings will not last long at all. Well, that's the that's the main thing of Nazimha. You won't really need to worry about if the minions get attacked because of your ultimate. Mm -hmm. That's true. Like once he gets the malefic visions, at, or once he gets the uh, the ultimate, uh, then yeah, he'll be able to drop the malefic visions down, drop the void lanes, and they'll all just converge on one target. Hopefully so, because otherwise my channel points are gonna be in danger. That they will. Well, I'm already kind of, I'm afraid I'm already starting to see the writing on the walls a little bit for the way Hello. this is going. War leader hanging out behind the turret. So he wants to go for this tower dive. Not a bad idea because could. he does still have his passive have up. Minions. So he's going to drop yeah. right onto Alk Battery. Alk Battery is in the wrong spot, but that's going to be a nice flash to get back under tower and avoid the, uh, er, uh, the Senna ultimate. That's going to be the high note lockdown. Trying to get it under tower, not quite able to do it. Escape is so low right now, but Akshan waiting in the wing. He sees the scoundrel. He's going for the damage. He gets the kill, and the reset comes back, and we've got Alt Battery back on the rift. Oh, that is brutal. Yeah, he gets it, but at this point, our escape doesn't do the damage he likes to do. It takes a while. Akshan's able to. He gets vision in here, sees him. Yeah, just uh, it's just simple kills as it is. Extra 100. 
he just it was his sneak time <laughs> <laughs> i don't know oh. any other way they could have gone that i feel like zach could have tried to take a little bit longer because he did oh, joshi that. trying to go in on this getting a nice stun off he knows that even though he's out of mana it doesn't really matter because he's got the rest of his team there to help him finish it off we've got a nice dive by rafa to shut down the oh. turret joshi basically secured that kill because of the direction anti had to run very well played by rex regalis at this point, our, our anti does have health, so if they push for tower, you this could get you. either farm back or you could actually get a kill. No, they don't push for tower. They're cutting the See, boxes. You've got a lot of options if you're Joshi right now. He doesn't have his TP up, so the TP advantage is over to Fiora. Oh, yeah, um, Spellbook. Yeah, he does have Spellbook um, active right now, so we're actually seeing some really unique play coming out of him. Not something you usually see. Alt Battery doing a good job rotating the mid lane. Dredge line coming out. It's not going to get the pull as Pengu Soul did still have his spell shield up. And we, why you know Doctor was not quite able to get close enough to get the root. Uh, but that's perfectly fine for Alt Battery. They managed to pick up that whole minion wave basically for free. Yeah. Spellbook in general. I mean, the, the minion wave. Actually, the way the wave set up, he actually gets a lot of decent farm for this. The farm line so far... With the farm numbers so far puts anti in pretty big favor and war leader jung both junglers don't need as much gold to get ahead i'm liking where this is going malzahar on the other side definitely needs a lot of gold to like be able to do the melt damage that he need absolutely needs to do to even like try and win this game mm -hmm. that's what they're gonna need to do there we already see that the rest of RLS has started to cluster themselves around this Drake. They're basically trying to secure it and get themselves that nice vision control. They've got a lot of wards on the back line. Joshi does have his TP up now. So that does mean he will be able to join in on this and he's going to continue this fight against Anti. It's going to be really interesting to see exactly how this ends up playing out. Uh, just because both of them have a way to disrupt the teleport. Although Anti's is very reliant on Joshi attempting to engage first. Yeah. So Anti does need Joshi to engage, her, which is good for Joshi, I guess, because See, he doesn't that, need to. This is what I meant. Just look how fast Zen Zen's able to clear that wave with Akshana. Oh. Yeah, it's, that cha it's, it's just new champion general. Mm -hmm. no? Oh, I, I love this new champion gone. so much. Look at that. Getting the procs off. Rift Herald's going to get dropped as well. So we are going to see uh, a couple more uh, plates go over to the site of Regalus. And they're just going to go ahead and use this push advantage to just go straight over to the Drake, exactly. Both have TP, but I don't think they have a chance with this 5v5, just because of how it was set up with uh, Tengu Soul being put down right before the fight. Exactly. That was really good macro play, and that is exactly what uh, Rex likes to do. They're not going to go for an objective right away. What they're going to do is they're going to keep an eye out on the what uh, everyone else is doing prior to those objectives and be like, okay, how do we disrupt them before we attempt this? So there's literally no way for them to even try to come close. That's actually a good rule of thumb, even for solo queue, just because anyone can do that. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's simply executed, but it's hard to find the... Yeah. All oh, battery is in a little bit of trouble right now. There's a lot of uh, danger as we have RLS Warleader jumping right in there. We have a lot of damage coming out. The charm oh. is getting missed as Ser <laughs> uh, Seraphine just was pointed in the wrong direction. She was singing to the wrong crowd. We have the teleport coming in. This is now a 5v3. Akshan has come to join the fight, and that is going to be a huge play for this bot lane, and it's only going to result in one kill. Everyone's here. Everyone's here. Bring your mom's dad's the entire family that <laughs> was really well done on the side of uh rls they saw an opportunity they got a pick and then they just brought everybody in to can try and continue it rex immediately used up a lot of resources to join that fight as well the fun thing is is that zen zen has such great roaming potential on this auction because he's able to move so fast when he's stealthed and he's just able to keep it going in perpetuity while he's walking next to this uh this terrain yeah so auction just specifically will have the mobility but i love how tengu soul and anti like at the drop of a, like I'm, like immediately it's like okay if we respond you know to go here mm -hmm. and it like secured the fight so it seems that so far on the side of Rex, like they're reactionary, or no, they're not reactionary. They'll actually set up for fights really well, but RLS mm -hmm. are always reactionary. So once they have 
a new decent situation, they'll help their team like immediately. On this mm-hmm. that, that's what you need. It's very much the who is thinking further ahead sort of situation because you see RLS going, hey, we're about to make this huge play. And we they, they're like, oh, it's awesome. At the same time, Rex is like, hey, you fell for it <laughs> as they spring their trap. You fell for my trap card. <laughs> exactly. This is just dueling all across the map. Nice route by Senna or uh, to hit Demon Wyuna Girl. Doctor, oh, but okay. Demon Girl's gonna just miss the uh the death sc- the grasp, and unfortunately that means that Wyuna Doctor is gonna get back to lane pretty you miss safe. every hook you don't take. Or this actually it's honestly sometimes better to not even take touch than the other friend. That is true. Good use by the uh, furnace for Joshi to keep himself um healthy Ooh, during the shield. It. But look at Anti, he is just dodging around, hitting all of those vitals, getting a lot off. The exhaust comes out. We see Joshi going golden in order to avoid giving too much. And that is gonna be a nice jump in flash stun coming out of Rafa, and that is gonna be a huge amount of damage Bad. that will Doesn't. allow for our Rafa to pick up that kill. Very well done, as the rotations on Rex Regalis are just really unmatched. That's opportunity to not only take the first tower, but also still anti off off the map so far. Yep. Ooh, Nethergrass comes out and does manage to catch Akshan, but it's not going to matter as the execute's probably going to come out here. But we have Pangu hiding behind his turret to avoid all of that damage, which is very I well done. Do that. That is exa- exactly the thing with Akshan is you've got to make sure that you, as long as you've got any form of terrain around, you've got minions, it's really easy to survive his ultimate, which is even though it's one of his main executions. Yeah, it's like Kate and Walton did. An absurd amount War of War leader taking oh, advantage War of the fact that Akshan has used up a lot of his resources, doesn't have enough. The Zen ult is going to go wide. We do have Zen Zen getting a really weird interaction as he's pulled back off of his grappling hook. And then in the meantime, in the bot lane, with a nice bit of a uh, split decision making as we have the engage happening here in order to keep Alk Battery and Why You Know Doctor from taking this bot turret. I'm seeing a lot of lackluster damage on the side of Akshan. They need just a slight leaf. They need just enough to like get ahead and then hold it out there because they're not doing enough damage. Like the Malzahar ult itself only did around what, half, not even half of Octon. Exactly. As we're looking at these uh, these damage charts right now, if we look at the gold leads, it's about a 3k gold lead in advantage of REX. Um, and Lad was almost Rafa diving into a situation he didn't want to be in. Luckily though, it's fine as Joshi comes here, takes down Pangu's soul spell shield. Uh, it, I really feel like this is just like once these items come online for RLS, there might be an opportunity for them to start coming back into this. But at this point, the snowball has already started rolling for Rex, and it could be very, very dangerous for all uh, for the Restless Lake Syndrome as this progresses. They might actually be able to get this. Look at this um, macro once again. They've already disrupted the map so much that they can take this Drake with no contests. Obliterated. That is amazing macro. I feel like the only way, once you see the item completion, is to wait it out and try and farm better. Even the farm is like really even to even not. Yeah, the farm is even, but the kills are not, and neither are the drakes. Anti just kind of flashing that this is fine. Everything is fine. I'm okay. (laughs) I got this. (laughs) Yeah, it's it's starting to turn really south. It's like, it's slowly going. You need to find a way out. What's RLS's escape plan here? Uh, I think RLS, what they've got to do is they've got to find a way to be very pro- to be proactive on these uh, objectives in order to find a way to disrupt Rex from being able to disrupt them. Unfortunately, they're in a position where they just don't do damage, and un- Art Rex is able to just kind of force them around the map as they so wish. And so it- it's going to be really, really tricky. You've kind of just got to focus on farming until your Senna gets to where she's able to start shredding these tanks, in addition to Malzahar being able to do so as well. This Fiora is also going to have some problems as these tanky frontliners basically keep her from jumping onto that backline and getting onto the Akshan and getting onto the Seraphine. Yeah, I'm loving the Fiora farm, but even like the way this game is going, I keep on seeing War Leader. Mm -hmm. War Leader coming in. He's about to jump over the wall. He does actually just miss the uh, the knock up, and there's nothing for him to grasp onto in order to pull uh, Joshi back. And that's yeah, going to mean that he is Malzahar. It, exactly that Malzahar in the bot. Um, in the meantime, just over in the bot side jungle, 
Uh, he's having to rotate mid to stop this Rift Herald, but that's just going to be a Rift Herald dive into turret, and it's going to kill it instantly. There won't be a second charge, which, fortunately for IRLS, though. Yeah, it's, it's just like, taking, they're taking chip damage over time. Like, it's nothing entirely significant. Like, a dragon here, a dragon there, maybe one kill. We're not seeing as many kills as I would expect for this game. This game is being played very respectful of the amount of damage that's available for either side. Like, they're kind of just aware of what each team is able to do. And they're like, look, it's fine. You you want to fight, but you know if you do, we're going to take you out. So uh, they've been just very good at focusing on the objectives, focusing on the what matters in League of Legends rather than what matters in solo queue. Yes. So, I mean, yeah, you know, a lot of it is to do with, like, the vision as well. Oh, like there's so much vision on the side of um, Rex. Like you just see blue everywhere. It's amazing. And I, I like this back from Joshi using the ultimate to get back to lane rather than uh, using anything else. He does have ghosts now thanks to the unsealed spellbook, so he's going to be just zipping around the map. The ulti for Scion at this point in the game is honestly basically <laughs> non-existent. And it's, it's kind of hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I mean for. Now, how do these matchups go? Because if Akashan, Akashan goes for Fiora, I think Malzar actually has a great chance against Jersey because of that burn uh, Yeah, no, you're you're completely right on that. Um, I, uh, it's just it's it's so hard to figure out exactly where this game is going to start cracking open even more. I just feel like. Restless Lake Syndrome is trying their best. You see Anti trying to put in the work, but unfortunately, Joshi just did a great job on the Scion shutting him down uh, and keeping him from getting too far ahead uh, or from getting ahead at all. And yeah. it, as a result of that, they're just not able to have presence on the map. They still haven't even touched top tower. And I think the only tower that's really taken significant Anything amount of damage. Uh, mid lane yeah. has gotten a little, a little bit of damage, but it's only about the first third. Yeah, because the best results have come from when Zach hit bot lane. But once Akashan is being able to roam around mm -hmm. because of that stealth, they just they don't have that opportunity into this game. So either you have to put Akshan down, or you have to figure out a way for Malzahar to be able to like, just get pick over pick until you have a sizable lead. Yeah, it, it, it's it's just it's so tricky to like again figure out exactly what this is going i've been loving what zen zen's mm -hmm. doing just with those roams he's already got his wits end completed plus the noon quiver means he's just gonna be hitting insanely hard uh probably building himself into that uh i would think either i would personally go gale force uh just so you have the extra engage the extra dash but he might be going for something a little bit safer war leader just kind of hanging off to the side <laughs> He doesn't have a jungle anymore. At this point, because the mid turrets are cracked open, you can easily walk into the enemy jungle, and that's going to put Warleader back more and more. At least he has his first item completion, but it's not looking pretty. You need a team fight here, and you need it without... You, you need something clean enough where you're winning before the team fights. I completely disagree. RLS wants a team fight, but at the same time, if they take this, if they don't play it right, you, uh, Rex is just going to completely de decimate them. Look at this. We've got a nice bit of engage set up by Warleader. He's going to manage to get a nice knockout, but there's going to be a huge amount of damage coming out from the side of Rex as we have them jumping onto the back line, trying to hit it up, shred it apart. That's going to be a shutdown as Fiora manages to pick up a kill. Joshi is still active, though, as he's trying to shred through it. Zack, while well, in the meantime, was over by uh, Outfatter, but Outfatter was able to just take him down. That's going to be the passive Zack taken out as well. RLS's escape is trying to do what they can, but Zen Zen putting out the damage, getting those double auto attacks off, and that is going to be an easy cleanup for Rex Regalis. They have shown why they are the kings of Summoner's Rift. And with Ocean Soul, there's not too much you can come back from this. It's going to be... It, it's a little difficult here. I'm not going to lie. It's, it, it's, it's an uphill battle for him. It's not... Exactly. It's not over till the Nexus explodes. You are completely right yeah. in that sense. However... <laughs> <laughs> it is it is such an uphill battle. They are climbing Mount Targon without yeah, like climbing equipment on the windward side. That is not okay. the side you want to be on. <laughs> it is just oh my goodness. Oh okay. What what is okay? So the game has finally broken open. It's a there is a clear. I, w I don't want to say victor, but there is a clear edge. RLS the... has an opportunity, but where? Well, what, what, what they need to do is they've the the problem is is they've got to look for picks. The thing is though, Rex is not going to let their 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 little squishies Seraphine and Akshan just go roaming around alone. 
I feel like that's like Akshan is the one that's roaming around more because he can roam around itself. So if you're able to catch Akshan out somehow, that's I think you need that. Malazahar is just still farming. Mm -hmm. I don't the know only way you can catch Akshan is with wards because he's got uh, you're and you have to use control wards essentially all over the map. Of control wards, though. like yeah. if you just in their inventory, if they place it right, just maybe on you, a pass somewhere. Mm -hmm. You've got to anticipate where he's going to oh, go. Good girl. dodge from the uh, high note, but is unfortunately they're just going to get caught out, and that's going to be the charm coming up from Seraphine as well as Demon Girl is going to get taken down. Uh, they are just too entranced by the K-pop idol in order to <laughs> actually do anything, and this is going to be the Baron started up by oh, Rex, yeah. and unfortunately, Anti is going to get baited into that fight. Huge amount of damage coming out. The Senna ulti coming out really early in that fight to try and shield their allies and get some damage off at the same time. Why you know Doctor is going to go down. War Leader is going to get hit pretty hard, but he's going to be able to walk away. We have Joshi going undead, trying to get some final amounts of damage off as he's chasing down the rest of the members of RLS, and they're going to run away from that zombie. And that means that the uh, Baron is not going to go down. And Zen Zen, in the meantime, looking for some extra damage, looking for that cheeky shot. Half of that fight went on without Octon, so, or Zen Zen. So, like, that was, that is exactly what you need to do. Just find, okay, I have a new theory. Find any fight without Akshan and you're good. Mm -hmm. So it's not I about picking off the Akshan. It's when Akshan is off hunting and doing his own little yes. sneaky time alone, that's yeah. when you've got to go in on the engage. Yeah, when he's, like, a little bit separated. Because, like, most of all of that fight went well without Akshan. Yes, and now Pangu Soul is the one who's been labeled the scoundrel. Um, <laughs> however, Joshi has already come back, so all it is is a little bit of extra gold to put into Akshan's pockets, which he probably wants, but at the same time, you don't need to be greedy and go hunting for that sort of thing. Um, well, right now we've got Alk Battery and yet Why No Doctor in the mid lane pushing it out, and it looks like they're probably just going to go start this Baron up again, be like, yeah, we, lost that, like, we won that fight, it's fine, but we're just going to do it again, see if you can stop us again. I mean, I say they have either a good chance or my outright skill. Well, you see, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting a different result. That's so... exactly what I do all the time, <laughs> and it always works. Yep, right here, Zen Zen getting a nice bit of damage off as he's hanging out in that bush, and they're not quite able to see him. They are going to get that ward cleared so he can once again hang out there, go stealthy if he really wants to. Uh, but that's just going to kind of get them to walk away. I did like, so they started to clear the control ward. Rex started to clear RLS's control ward, but then they stopped themselves. And they're like, wait, let's leave this here. They're We've shown camp. that we're here, so now we're going to just wait and see what they do. Wait, with that, that that word showed that they were bush camping, so they, they're calling the bluff. Either they see they started or they don't. But mm -hmm. regardless, Malzar gets time to go back. They, get, they have yeah. reset advantage, so it's they going have, amazing. They have reset right now. They are able to do that right now. I think it's a situation. Look at all these controllers that just keep getting chopped into that. Akshan getting caught off to the side. RLS Anti getting a lot of damage off oh. as he's able to do it, but unfortunately, Zen Zen is just too dang strong. That charm was massive as she just gets a, a whole captive audience out of RLS, and they just turn them into mincemeat. Zen Zen going the distance as he swings around like Spider-Man, trying to grab the shot. The Nether Grasp is going to stop the ulti. RLS Demon Girl trying to get a hook off onto Zen Zen as he's coming out of it, but is not able to quite get it. And so that is going to be the rest of Rex staying alive as they get that huge kill. Look at that massive heal just now from Mer so, uh, Seraphine. That was stealing. I'm calling it ridiculous. now. That is what we're, they're going to try to do. They're going to go for that steal. You've got the lantern in there oh. for the vision, but unfortunately, Zen Zen goes godlike and Are takes you? out the undead what? jailer across the Damn. wall. And that is going to be Rex picking up the Baron. They have just everything to themselves. Yeah, that's a, that's a little bit rough. I say it was more of a timing difference with Anti going a little bit too early. And it, because if you're going to flank, you don't want the entire enemy team on you. So it's a little rough in that edge, but if you can get a one-on-one -on -one fight, maybe there's hope. There's hope. I believe. There, there, there is hope. There's still a way to believe if you really want not to, but I'm promise. afraid, Bean Jar, that Ruby... Oh, it's uh, not Copium, my the, it, you, you, You've taken too much of that Copium, my friend. Rex Regalis has got this in the bag. They have put on the crown preemptively and just are ready to <laughs> waltz into RLS's base. I think 
Oh yeah, we also forgot to mention that it was an OC break, not a high break. Ooh, okay. got a fight going on right here. Anti once again getting caught out in the jungle. The lantern is out, but it's gonna just take them right to where the danger is. We have the ulti coming out from Akshan as he times it very well, targeting Ooh, Anti, and it ends up hitting. Uh, well, you know, Doctor, huge split decisions coming out right here, but Rex has got the front line in order to do it. This is just where you're sending them in one at a time. Huge heal coming Not off of regardless. But unfortunately, oh, there's just copium. so much damage. There's a little bit of copium on their side. That is going to be the Malefic Visions thrown over the wall. Very well played by RLS in all honesty. Like, that was very well done. But we're seeing Pengu's soul step they up a little bit Akshan. far. He's putting himself in a very dangerous spot right now. Akshan is down. So that means that he's not going to be getting a reset, even if he were to be counting on his assist on War Leader. Uh, but unfortunately, oh, man, that was not what Rex wanted to have happen. If we go back and watch... Look at Akshan right here. Or, okay, we'll yeah. see. So we're watching the Zen Zen. We're seeing what Zen Zen does. We'll see what Zen Zen does. Anti gets caught out. He actually goes for the blast work, which honestly that saves him. And then he times that. He could have just dashed over there, but he helps Demon Girl. And now Escape gets the CC. Mm -hmm. War Leader gets massive CC. Four man. And then Zen Zen. Escape sees Zen Zen right here in a second. He gets a little too close, picks up on the radar, big damage. That's all you needed. Well, see, it's the Senna that ends up taking him out, and unfortunately, it's just before uh, Senna got that double kill. So if she had killed Nautilus first, that would have made her the scoundrel, and so they might have gotten the reset there. But either way, just the way that is played out, so well done for Restless Lake Syndrome. Mm. I think at this point you just you just need to kill Akshan and then your time is set because the bounty gold that you just got there I think yield another item completion and then some so they're they're eating good. Mm -hmm. They they are doing all right. So they did pick themselves up some shutdown golds during that fight. Uh, that does bring this gold lead a little bit closer, but it's still a pretty big a distance as you've got uh, forty seven to fifty two and a half. So. That's like a six and a half K gold difference right there. Mm hmm. Or five yeah, and a half. I mean, it's if you round Mental down, math. That's stop. not something I'm here for. I'm here to shout cast fights as we've got one going <laughs> right now. Demon Fuck girl math. getting a nice bit of baiting right there. That Oops. is going to be the shutdown as oh, Fiora beautiful. gets a huge amount of damage onto Seraphine, just making them go pop. And that is them diving right onto this back line. This is where the anti is important. Oh. However, Zen Zen picks up the kill, getting the double auto attacks off. And that's going to get either resurrected Seraphine as she's coming to join this fight probably as quickly as she can. RLS War Leader going to go down as well. And that's a double kill for Akshan. Demon Girl's going to fall. That's going to be a triple kill. And then we have him jumping oh, onto no. Pengu Soul. That's a quadra kill going over to Zen Zen. They failed to focus Zen Zen and they beat it for it. Was a valiant yep. effort, though. It was a very valiant effort, but that is going to be Elder Drake picked up. That is a huge objective for Rex. For a new fight. They yeah. have got their lizard brethren riding on their shoulders, ready to help them get these executes. That is going to be a huge push down this mid lane. They are going to shove this as hard as they possibly can. Take this inhibitor turret, probably get the inhib as well. You've still got... Uh, only a few seconds before War Leader comes up, and that's going to be three on five. But Rex has the damage. They can take this fight if they want to. Hmm. Yeah, they're... Yeah, I, actually, wait. They back off. And if they back off now, they're not going to have the Dragon buff by next fight. Oh, never mind. They're going to have it. They very I well they were going to back for a second. No, no they're, they're not going to... This right is what Rex we, does. Rex will back. see victory, but rather than try and push it, they'll be like, let's... Let's methodically pull it out. Let's go ahead and do this. We've That's got the surgical season. precision. Nice hook onto the Seraphine, but very smart on Demon Girl not to go in and try and get that play off. Uh, so they are not going to be diving into the entirety of Rex. It was probably very, very tempting, though. Yeah, I mean, the longer you delay, the less the dragon will come. Through. Anti, and chance, you, come that Don't lunge. Don't here. Run away. <laughs> Well, away. see, RLS doesn't want to start a fight, but Rex does. Rex wants to assert their dominance and show why they are the kings. Get out. Take the, take the, take the 
Yeah, just take the minions. Just, just take the minions. You got it. You've got Malzahar right there to go ahead and force it off. They're going to be hiding out underneath these Nexus turrets. We, in the time you have our uh, the rest of Rex, they are going to go ahead and just shove in this top lane, take this top inhibitor as well. Uh, and and there's got not a minute or two on Dragon left. Who yeah. knows? Please. The, the, the basically RLS no. is just they're they're trying to stem the tide, trying to push things out as best they can. But Rex is like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Go ahead. We'll we'll just take objectives around your base as you try and stop us. Oh, are they backing? This, they are backing. This is again. This is what Rex does. They can see victory. They can see that they could push in and win the fight. But they're not going to push it. They're not going to try and force anything because they know if you try to force something, you're going to break it. Doesn't matter what it is. You force it, you break it. So they're just going to go That's back. Reset, and they're going to yes, that is exactly what she said. <laughs> um, but they're going to go ahead, relax, and just let the game play itself out, and just very calmly finish this game. Yeah, it's a little. Oh, they'll, they'll calmly finish the game, but you know, you never know. Maybe, maybe they target Zen Zen. Come on. You target Zenzen, Zen, Zen, that's they don't fine. Have they Can don't have you a kill enough. the Zenzen Zen before you're disrupted is the question. It's only a 10k gold difference. It's it's it's, it's, it's only 10k. It's only so, 10k. Only do you, 10k. Do you, are, how, how's there. that supply of copium doing over there, my friend? I don't know what you're talking about. There was never copium. <laughs> there was never copium? Never well, I, I ha I'd have to ask you if, if uh, Sunga's been the one supplying it for you because uh, <laughs> I, I definitely could use some of that during some of these games. Uh, in the meantime, though, that we've got Rex starting up this Baron. Good call. Really good call. Because uh, it's going to cause... RLS is going to be forced to either attempt across. to steal or jump in. Oh, wow, that's massive damage on Rex. Wait, that, that actually shoved them off it. I think that maybe Malazahar or whoever, I think we'd actually escape them to be able to deal out that absurd amount of damage now. Mm -hmm. Oh, they also mid lane. See, it easy. forces them off in the sense of they just walk backwards no. and let themselves heal up a little bit, and then they just start it again. They're like, okay, that's fine. I'm uh, I'm gonna go in. And I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna stop. We have a nice jump in, but that's gonna be the smite coming down as Demon Girl is gonna get taken out. There is no contract you could possibly sign oh, in order geez. to keep these souls from going down, and that is gonna be a missed charm from Seraphine. A little bit preemptive, a little bit early. This is gonna be Zach oh. on the back line getting taken out as well. The passive getting popped, and that is gonna be him falling. Three members now, and the squishiest ones of that. Oh, that was a Ooh, really was sus good. hook right there. Really well done by Anti, though, to get that repost out in order to get the stun on Why You Know Doctor, which basically shuts that down. Too. It's not going to matter, though. They've got a Baron-empowered minion wave that's just shoving in. And you have the flash jump on the Mile the Nethergrass Malefic <laughs> Visions getting dropped onto Akshan, but you've got the shutdown on these turrets as we have jo uh, the no. Holy Bear just <laughs> breaking them apart. Anti trying to stop this, but he's just going to get bursted down absolutely completely. We have Demon Girl flashing back under the safety of Fountain trying to get a play in order to pull some of these members of Rex into the turret. Joshi somehow surviving under the Fountain Cannon, and that is going to be Rex Regalis picking up the win. Okay, I may or may not have just lost 141,000 channel points, but mm -hmm. it's, it's, all, it's all in good faith. All in good faith. Well, we greatly appreciate your donation, <laughs> my friend. Pain. Pain and suffering. Pain and suffering, indeed. Agony, even. A little bit of agony, a little bit of agony as you paid it out. Uh, <laughs> however, we did have our own person drop down a bunch as well. And it's that awful. is going to be Rex Regalis picking up the victory. You know, just looking at these damage sharks. Akshan, so much damage. That's just a lot of damage. Oh. It's like 10k more than the most. It has the more time. damage than I can count. <laughs> it's like one, two. What's after two? Uh, I think three. What the wise man want? That's why. That's why you're the. Uh, what's it called that's, again? That's Shout why I'm caster. the one with the degree. Yes, that's why I'm the shoutcaster. Oh, yeah. uh, I'm, I, getting, I, there. I'm <laughs> getting there. You'll get there. You'll get there, B and Jar. We believe Eventually. in you. Uh, in the meantime, though, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break. Uh, that was the last game of the day, so I'm gonna say thank you all for dropping by. But stick <laughs> around. We've got an interview coming up. We'll be right back. Yeah.
folks, Chris Edgeworth here with Zen Zen from the victorious Rex Regalis. How are you feeling after the win? Uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. It, it feels really nice to uh, collect the gym badge, as Antis like to say. <laughs> there you go. I, l I love that reference. So uh, let's uh, let's talk about this this draft. Let's get set the table for this game. Um, you folks, um, you were you were on the the Akshan or Akshan. Uh, I think I got that right. I'm yes. Not too, okay. I had to. To be fair, I had to look it up in like a in a riot talks or whatever in order to get it correct. But there you go. Yep. I I tried it. I saw it on Twitter a bunch of times, so I feel like I should know by now. So um, yeah. So anyway, let's uh, let's talk about this. So you had uh, mid lane Akshan. Um, you guys uh, did also have uh, Joshi get uh, a lot of target bans. Um, and then we saw this. Uh, he pulled out the Scion, and Anti matched up against him with a Fiora. I thought that was pretty spicy. You had this Malzahar matchup in the mid lane. So what, what what were your general thoughts on the draft that you folks had put together and what, and what they ended up pulling out against you? Yeah, so between last night and today, we probably spent about an hour or so thinking about how we wanted to draft in this game. Um, because, you know, we respect RLS. We think that they're a pretty strong team. And... Um, one of the permutations that we came up with was, hey, you know, this team, they're at the strongest when they play like two or three frontliners and they just clown you front to back. That's how we lost to them in the first game that we played, uh, where our trundle got really strong and then we just couldn't like deal with the damage. Um, so we were looking at like strategies and champions that could, that could work with that. Uh, work against that. We considered Lily a jungle. We considered picking me Ziggs early on in the draft, such that we had da high damage. And then we came across this idea of like, yo, if if Dimitri, yeah, if Elk Battery can play Seraphine bottom, this clowns this game. Uh, and so um, that was one piece of information that we we went knowing into the draft that we were going to take. The second important piece of information is we knew that. Um, we knew that RLS will always pick like Volibear or Ziggs like first time every time um, because they like the flex flick. And so we thought, well, let's let's build a band strategy that takes that away from from them. So we B1 the Volibear, uh, you know, force force Antia onto something that he's a little bit less comfortable with and with the Fiora that they have a little bit less practice on. Um, and then we built out the rest of the team from there and Uction. Uh, was a final call uh, after looking at their draft. We were like, yo, you know, they don't really have anything that, that punishes auction very much, um, and I, I should be able to do fine in lane. Um, and it worked out beautifully. It's uh, it sounds like you folks had uh, certainly thought this through. Um, sounds like there's some... Uh very unhappy people in the chat so uh you know i think i think you're doing everyone else in the league of service you know you're, you're giving them an insight i've always pointed out rex is very good with uh giving out the strats free of charge because you know it just raises the level of the league you know why not why not give yourself a little bit of a handicap a little bit more of a challenge uh in this so uh right on with thank you for the draft analysis let's talk about uh this champion that that you picked up this is your second time uh pulling it out although it's been seen a lot, a lot of presence in your games, as you said. So talk to me a little bit about this pick on the Akshan and then obviously about uh, how you're able to, to get uh, such a big pop off in this game going 12, one and seven. Yeah, so um, the thing that I really like about Akshan at this current level play of play that we're at is that you're effectively playing against an Evelyn, right? Um, because of the stealth that he has off of his W, um, it is very hard for for teams to effectively know where you're standing. And that puts a lot of pressure on the team, even if I'm just sitting there in lane just collecting waves. And you saw that happen during that game. Um, you know, I didn't have to do a whole lot in the early game, um, especially since, like, bottom lane was doing great. Uh, you know, we, we were smashing the draft there. Um, and... You know, all I had to do was just play front to back and look for resets because we have such a powerful um, front to back team fight. The Zach goes in and then doesn't really have a lot of follow up to him uh, with the draft that they've chosen to play. Um, so we just kill that guy, we get a reset, and we just charge and run them down. Um, I think broadly, Uction is um, an incredibly powerful laner and is something that not a lot of mid laners in this current league have a good prepared pick to beat it. Um, and that's why I think it's been either picked or banned. And I want to say like 80% of Rex games so far in this season. 
All right. Well, let's look forward to the rest of the season. Um, as we are into the second round robin proper now, are there any matchups that are yet to come that, that you're looking forward to? Um, yeah. Um, I think that, you know, among the... What, what I would consider to be the top four teams of the league, there are definitely uh, teams that make us sweat. Um, I think, you know, this this game against RLS, we had to take very seriously and spend a lot of time on draft pep. Um, we'll have to do the same thing against Int tomorrow. Um, so, you know, those are, those are the two teams that come immediately to mind. But I, I think every team, you know, as we approach the later stages of the season, are, is slowly, like, starting to up their game more and more and more. Um, like, Coin Flip Gaming... Um, surprised us in our last win against them with how uh, difficult they made the early stages of that game. Um, and so, you know, I'm just hoping that we can play the game that we always play uh, and, and, you know, like use that controlled style, use the use our good knowledge of, of macro and where to be on the map at the right time uh, to, to close out this uh, this season with as many W's as we can. Right on. Well, thank you, Zen Zen, for this interview. And before we step away for the evening, do you have any final thoughts you'd like to leave with us on the desk? Any banner, any shout outs? You didn't have an opportunity to get out. Um, shout out my team. Absolutely love playing with them. Uh, apparently they're pissed at me for leaking uh, draft strats. But guys, we can't we can't all clown on these players like we need them to rise to our level. Uh, and so, you know, uh, we, we should we should just, you know, give them the the information that they need to at least make it a fair fight that's all i'm saying um and uh yeah thanks once again for hosting this tournament we we absolutely love it here um can't wait to go into next week um and and play some more games right on uh well you do have the matchup tomorrow against uh in the trees which will be unsealing from behind uh, our embargoed wall so uh, none of us on the staff other than the people who covered it will know so we'll be looking forward to see that one come out it should be a, a bit of a banger that's a, another top level team as you said in the league so uh folks we will be back uh tomorrow uh join us at 4 30 pacific standard time for more matches this is it for us on the casting desk uh, and the interview desk this is chris edgeworth signing off for friend or foe and we'll see you tomorrow have a good night